everyone, welcome back. If you're new, we are here to help you pass the U.S. naturalization interview. One of the requirements to become naturalized is to pass the civics test. These questions cover important topics about American government and history. There are two versions of the civics test. So which version do you take? Well, if your filing date is on or after December 1st, 2020, you will take the 2020 version, which has 128 questions, and that's what we're going to cover today. For applicants who applied before that, you can check out the 2008 version here. The civics test is an oral test, and the USCIS officer will ask you to answer 20 out of the 128 civics test questions. You must answer at least 12 questions correctly to pass the 2020 version of the civics test. Remember, these are not multiple choice questions. On the civics test, some answers may change because of elections or appointments. You must answer the question with the name of the official serving at the time of your naturalization interview. Although USCIS is aware that there may be additional correct answers to the civics questions, they encourage applicants to respond to the questions using the official answers. And that's what I'm going to go over today with you. I will also give you the simplest answers to remember for each question. One more thing. If the question doesn't ask for a specific number of answers, you only need to provide one answer. Are you ready? Let's go. What is the form of government of the United States? What is the form of government of the United States? Republic, Republic. What is the supreme law of the land? What is the supreme law of the land? The U.S. Constitution, the U.S. Constitution. Name one thing the U.S. Constitution does. Name one thing the U.S. Constitution does. Forms the government. Forms the government. The U.S. Constitution starts with the words, we the people. What does we the people mean? The U.S. Constitution starts with the words, we the people. What does we the people mean? Self-government. Self-government. How are changes made to the U.S. Constitution? How are changes made to the U.S. Constitution? Amendments. Amendments. What does the Bill of Rights protect? What does the Bill of Rights protect? The basic rights of Americans. The basic rights of Americans. How many amendments does the U.S. Constitution have? How many amendments does the U.S. Constitution have? 27. 27. Why is the Declaration of Independence important? 
Why is the Declaration of Independence important? It says America is free from British control. It says America is free from British control. What founding document said the American colonies were free from Britain? What founding document said the American colonies were free from Britain? The Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence. Name two important ideas from the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution. Name two important ideas from the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution. Equality and self-government. Equality and self-government. The words life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are in what founding document? The words life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are in what founding document? The Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence. What is the economic system of the United States? What is the economic system of the United States? Capitalism. Capitalism. What is the rule of law? What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Everyone must follow the law. Many documents influenced the U.S. Constitution. Name one. Many documents influenced the U.S. Constitution. Name one. The Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence. There are three branches of government. Why? There are three branches of government. Why? Separation of powers. Separation of powers. Name the three branches of government. Name the three branches of government. Congress, the President, and the Courts. Congress, the President, and the Courts. The President of the United States is in charge of which branch of government? The President of the United States is in charge of which branch of government? The Executive Branch. The Executive Branch. What part of the federal government writes laws? What part of the federal government writes laws? The U.S. Congress. 
The U.S. Congress. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives. The Senate and the House of Representatives. Name one power of the U.S. Congress. Name one power of the U.S. Congress. Rights laws. Rights laws. How many U.S. Senators are there? How many U.S. Senators are there? One hundred. 100. How long is a term for a U.S. Senator? How long is a term for a U.S. Senator? Six years. Six years. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? The answer depends on where you live. Check the link in the video description. How many voting members are in the House of Representatives? How many voting members are in the House of Representatives? 435. 435. How long is a term for a member of the House of Representatives? How long is a term for a member of the House of Representatives? Two years. Two years. Why do U.S. representatives serve shorter terms than U.S. senators? Why do U.S. representatives serve shorter terms than U.S. senators? To more closely follow public opinion. to more closely follow public opinion. How many senators does each state have? How many senators does each state have? Two. Two. Why does each state have two senators? Why does each state have two senators? Equal representation for small states. Equal representation for small states. Name your U.S. representative. Name your U.S. representative. The answer depends on where you live. Check the link in the video description. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Pelosi. Pelosi. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? Who does
does a U.S. Senator represent? Citizens of their state. Citizens of their state. Who elects U.S. Senators? Who elects U.S. Senators? Citizens from their state. Citizens from their state. Who does a member of the House of Representatives represent? Who does a member of the House of Representatives represent? Citizens in their district. Citizens in their district. Who elects members of the House of Representatives? Who elects members of the House of Representatives? Citizens in their district. Citizens in their district. Some states have more representatives than other states. Why? Some states have more representatives than other states. Why? Because they have more people. Because they have more people. The President of the United States is elected for how many years? The President of the United States is elected for how many years? Four years. Four years. The President of the United States can serve only two terms. Why? The President of the United States can serve only two terms. Why? Because of the 22nd Amendment. Because of the 22nd Amendment. What is the name of the President of the United States now? What is the name of the President of the United States now? Biden. Biden. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Harris. Harris. If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Vice President. The Vice President. Name one power of the President. Name one power of the President. Signs bills into law. Signs bills into law. Who is Commander-in-Chief of the U.S. Military? Who is Commander-in-Chief of the U.S. Military? The President. The President. Who signs bills to become laws? Who signs bills to become laws? The President. The President. Who vetoes bills? Who vetoes bills? The President. The President. 
Who appoints federal judges? Who appoints federal judges? The president. The president. The executive branch has many parts. Name one. The executive branch has many parts. Name one. The president. The president. What does the president's cabinet do? What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. Advises the president. What are two cabinet level positions? What are two cabinet level positions? Attorney General and Vice President. Attorney General and Vice President. Why is the Electoral College important? Why is the Electoral College important? It decides who is elected president. It decides who is elected president. What is one part of the judicial branch? What is one part of the judicial branch? The Supreme Court. The Supreme Court. What does the judicial branch do? What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. Reviews laws. What is the highest court in the United States? What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. The Supreme Court. How many seats are on the Supreme Court? How many seats are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Nine. How many Supreme Court justices are usually needed to decide a case? How many Supreme Court justices are usually needed to decide a case? Five. Five. How long do Supreme Court justices serve? How long do Supreme Court justices serve? For life. For life. Supreme Court justices serve for life. Why? Supreme Court justices serve for life. Why? To be independent of politics. To be independent of politics. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. John Roberts. Name one power that is only for the federal government. Name one power that is only for the federal government. 
To print paper money. To print paper money. Name one power that is only for the states. Name one power that is only for the states. To give a driver's license. To give a driver's license. What is the purpose of the 10th Amendment? What is the purpose of the 10th Amendment? Powers not given to the federal government belong to the states or to the people. Powers not given to the federal government belong to the states or to the people. Who is the governor of your state now? Who is the governor of your state now? The answer depends on where you live. Check the link in the video description. What is the capital of your state? What is the capital of your state? The answer depends on where you live. Check the link in the video description. There are four amendments to the U.S. Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. There are four amendments to the U.S. Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Any citizen can vote. Any citizen can vote. Who can vote in federal elections, run for federal office, and serve on a jury in the United States? Who can vote in federal elections, run for federal office, and serve on a jury in the United States? Citizens. Citizens. What are three rights of everyone living in the United States? What are three rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of religion. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. The United States. Name two promises that new citizens make in the Oath of Allegiance. Name two promises that new citizens make in the Oath of Allegiance. To obey the laws of the United States and to be loyal to the United States. To obey the laws of the United States and to be loyal to the United States. How can people become United States citizens? How can people become United States citizens? Naturalize. Naturalize. What are two examples of civic participation in the United States? What are two examples of civic participation in the United States? 
vote and run for office. Vote and run for office. What is one way Americans can serve their country? What is one way Americans can serve their country? Vote. Vote. Why is it important to pay federal taxes? Why is it important to pay federal taxes? It's required by law. It's required by law. It is important for all men age 18 through 25 to register for the Selective Service. Name one reason why. It is important for all men age 18 through 25 to register for the Selective Service. Name one reason why. It's required by law. It's required by law. The colonists came to America for many reasons. Name one. The colonists came to America for many reasons. Name one. Freedom. Freedom. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. Native Americans. What group of people was taken and sold as slaves? What group of people was taken and sold as slaves? Africans. Africans. What war did the Americans fight to win independence from Britain? What war did the Americans fight to win independence from Britain? The American Revolution. The American Revolution. Name one reason why the Americans declared independence from Britain. Name one reason why the Americans declared independence from Britain. High taxes. High taxes. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. July 4th, 1776. The American Revolution had many important events. Name one. The American Revolution had many important events. Name one. The Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence. There were 13 original states. Name five. There were 13 original states. Name five.
New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey, North Carolina, South Carolina. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey, North Carolina, South Carolina. What founding document was written in 1787? What founding document was written in 1787? The U.S. Constitution. The U.S. Constitution. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John Jay. John Jay. Why were the Federalist Papers important? Why were the Federalist Papers important? They helped people understand the U.S. Constitution. They helped people understand the U.S. Constitution. Benjamin Franklin is famous for many things. Name one. Benjamin Franklin is famous for many things. Name one. U.S. Diplomat. U.S. Diplomat. George Washington is famous for many things. Name one. George Washington is famous for many things. Name one. Father of our country. Father of our country. Thomas Jefferson is famous for many things. Name one. Thomas Jefferson is famous for many things. Name one. Writer of the Declaration of Independence. Writer of the Declaration of Independence. James Madison is famous for many things. Name one. James Madison is famous for many things. Name one. One of the writers of the Federalist Papers. One of the writers of the Federalist Papers. Alexander Hamilton is famous for many things. Name one. Alexander Hamilton is famous for many things. Name one. One of the writers of the Federalist Papers. One of the writers of the Federalist Papers. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Louisiana. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War. The Civil War. 
Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. The Civil War. The Civil War had many important events. Name one. The Civil War had many important events. Name one. Lincoln was assassinated. Lincoln was assassinated. Abraham Lincoln is famous for many things. Name one. Abraham Lincoln is famous for many things. Name one. Freed the slaves. Freed the slaves. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. Freed the slaves. What U.S. war ended slavery? What U.S. war ended slavery? The Civil War. The Civil War. What amendment gives citizenship to all persons born in the United States? What amendment gives citizenship to all persons born in the United States? The 14th Amendment. The 14th Amendment. When did all men get the right to vote? When did all men get the right to vote? After the Civil War. After the Civil War. Name one leader of the women's rights movement in the 1800s. Name one leader of the women's rights movement in the 1800s. Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. World War I. Why did the United States enter World War I? Why did the United States enter World War I? To support the Allied Powers. To support the Allied Powers. When did all women get the right to vote? When did all women get the right to vote? After World War I. After World War I. What was the Great Depression? What was the Great Depression? The longest economic recession in modern history. The longest economic recession in modern history. When did the Great Depression start? 
When did the Great Depression start? The Great Crash in 1929. The Great Crash in 1929. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Roosevelt. Why did the United States enter World War II? Why did the United States enter World War II? To support the Allied Powers. To support the Allied Powers. Dwight Eisenhower is famous for many things. Name one. Dwight Eisenhower is famous for many things. Name one. General during World War II. General during World War II. Who was the United States' main rival during the Cold War? Who was the United States' main rival during the Cold War? Russia. Russia. During the Cold War, what was one main concern of the United States? During the Cold War, what was one main concern of the United States? Communism. Communism. Why did the United States enter the Korean War? Why did the United States enter the Korean War? To stop the spread of communism. To stop the spread of communism. Why did the United States enter the Vietnam War? Why did the United States enter the Vietnam War? To stop the spread of communism. To stop the spread of communism. What did the Civil Rights Movement do? What did the Civil Rights Movement do? Fought to end racial discrimination. Fought to end racial discrimination. Martin Luther King Jr. is famous for many things. Name one. Martin Luther King Jr. is famous for many things. Name one. Fought for civil rights. Fought for civil rights. Why did the United States enter the Persian Gulf War? Why did the United States enter the Persian Gulf War? To force the Iraqi military from Kuwait. To force the Iraqi military from Kuwait. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? 
What major event happened on September 11th, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Terrorists attacked the United States. Name one U.S. military conflict after the September 11, 2001 attacks. Name one U.S. military conflict after the September 11, 2001 attacks. The war in Iraq. The war in Iraq. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Crow. Crow. Name one example of an American innovation. Name one example of an American innovation. The light bulb. The light bulb. What is the capital of the United States? What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Where is the Statue of Liberty? Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York. New York. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Because there were 13 original colonies. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. Because there are 50 states. What is the name of the national anthem? What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner. The nation's first motto was E Pluribus Unum. What does that mean? The nation's first motto was E Pluribus Unum. What does that mean? We all become one. We all become one. What is Independence Day? What is Independence Day? The country's birthday. The country's birthday. Name three national U.S. holidays. Name three national U.S. holidays. 
New Year's Day, Thanksgiving Day, and Christmas Day. New Year's Day, Thanksgiving Day, and Christmas Day. What is Memorial Day? What is Memorial Day? A holiday to honor soldiers who died in military service. A holiday to honor soldiers who died in military service. What is Veterans Day? What is Veterans Day? A holiday to honor people in the U.S. military. A holiday to honor people in the U.S. military.